Hell yeah. This gonna be a sweet one. For Nina. Yeah. Yeah, in her boy um, studio. What is called it? A workshop? Um, yeah, yeah, honey. The honey room. The honey room. The honey extracting room. That is a sweet name. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a long time in coming. Eh? A long time we're supposed to be here with Joanne doing this. It's years we're supposed to be here. On the upside, they have years of practice. So you're coming to see the real scenes now, right? Correct. Hi, Joe. Hi. Um, Welcome. Take, thanks. Thanks for coming. Take us through the, um, the process of going to extract some honey today. See, I have my gloves on. So I'm going to learn this. And then come and extract some honey masterfully afterwards. I'm just joking, I'm <laughs> I'll do all right, I'm sure. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, what's the first step? This is what you call your uncapping bin. Mm -hmm. It's a double compartment. Hence the reason you wouldn't have to put your hands inside and squeeze up your comb and right. stuff like that. So we're looking at sanitary conditions just as well. Mm -hmm. Right? So when the uncaps go in here, it will drain and come through this compartment at the side here. Right. So even before you start, you make sure you have on your gloves, mm -hmm. you get your little utensils ready. Um, what I have here to uncap is just a simple bread knife, mm -hmm. which will work. Right. You know, you don't have to go into the expense of getting a Heat a knife, knife or so. Right. This will work fine. Just get a new bread knife and you're good to go. Just some elbow grease, right? Sorry? Just some elbow grease. Some elbow right. grease. So, but not much, but not mm -hmm. much. For you, yeah, when you first try. Right? And then mm -hmm. you have your extractor here mm -hmm. where it holds nine frames. So, once we uncap nine of these, mm -hmm. then we're going to do some extracting. All right. Right? When it's in the So, this here we call a, a, a hive tool which you use to grip your frame to take it out just to ease it out you rest it on top here this little piece of board is just to make it center and, and give it give right. you a little control mm -hmm. so you start from the top and you start to to cut oh, like this you slice it right, right. right. So this is what you call uncapping right. so anytime anybody asks tell you the honey not ready as yet because it's not capped this is what I mean. Right. This okay. is what you call capped. Mm -hmm. And then right. you turn it on the other side here. And it, we go through the same process. Mm -hmm. And this going into the bin to mm -hmm. just drain out, right? To just drain out. Right. Yeah. Actually, some people, they, um, they ask us for the comb, which is this year too. Mm -hmm. they, they make soaps with it. They do different little things. Um, to put in there as an ingredient into the um, yeah like if they make soap so cream so yeah the actual okay. wax right so yeah. this year right so yeah. this year you're just gonna take it here mm -hmm. and put it right into one of these slots right here and that's how it's going to look okay right so we have Eight more to go. Alright. Right, so Q I'm gonna put it uh, let you do try the other one. Mm. The next one. I'll give it a nice chubby one here. A chubby one. So it's easy to Alright, so you, this one, this one here. This one here? Yeah. Mm, that's some weird, but <laughs> give me the sweetest one. That's the, that's the sweetest one. <laughs> And the reason we say the, the entire um, box would be about 50 to 55 pounds. Pounds, okay. Yeah. See. Alright, another slice in. Just slice it. You go ahead. Okay, that looks great. Alright, let, let me help you out here. Mm. For those that we didn't catch, just take a little fork. Ah. And we'll... Alright. How is that? Better, All right? right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. So let's turn it around. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh. Yeah, no start. Okay, well, let's go. Yeah. All right. Excellent. That looks great. Niceness. Sweetness. <laughs> Do the extract 
extraction. Now we are the platinum. This guy was this piece of gadget. It's called, called the extractor. The extractor. The extractor. Oh, well, right? Because it's extracting. Correct. Right. It it gonna allow the honey to just come out of the frame. Okay, cool. Okay, so as you say, maybe right. Leave so it close. No, nothing getting in. Nothing no coming spells, out. No spills, right? Then you put this in gear. Mm -hmm. Just stick it in there. Right. And we go in in one direction first. Mm -hmm. Put it in. Yeah. Going in one direction, mm -hmm. and then we go into anti-clockwise direction after. Alright, any particular speed? I okay. think that's fine. And release now? Release. Right. My mama, um, ice cream chin in this way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sorry, what happened here now? What's happening is the, the honey is actually flowing out from the comb. Right, okay. Right, so it, it's going in all directions. Mm. Alright, cool. So, so we can have we can have a look inside. So we're finished extracting, and what we're going to do is open the chamber here. And on this side we have a strainer, which is the coarsest one that hold all these sediments, the little uh, wax and mm. bees and stuff like yeah, that to catch up. Right. And from there we're going to put it onto this strainer, right. where we're going to have it in a keg, like in one of these. So you have it to settle. Uh, food safe. Uh, yeah. Food grade. Right. right. So you're gonna have it settle for at least two two weeks. Right. And um, after settling, then you could start to bottle your stuff. Okay. All right. right. So I'm gonna open the chamber now, and we'll see some goodness coming out. We would also consider our our honey at the rawest just as well because mm. it's not filtered, it's not pasteurized. Right. Right? So we, we try to give people all that goodness. I would take even the sediments to show people, listen, this is what it looks like. Right. And a couple of people come up to me and say, um, I could buy that. Mm. You know, so there is a market for- For the raw honey. Yeah, for the raw honey right. and at any stage. Mm. After it's strained, full mm -hmm. straining. Yes. Now we plan to even bottle some of that stage, yeah? Mm. yeah. So we're going to be doing some little jars, even at that stage. Right. And what we're going to put is, that's the absolute raw honey, yeah? Hi right, Joe. So we uncap. Correct. We spin. Extract. We extract, right? Um, about how much are we going to get from those nine combs and that we put in? Um, let's say maybe, hopefully about a half of a keg. Half of a keg, about what? Mm, which is about two about and a half. 12, 12, um, what you call rum size bottle. bottles. Bottles, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, so from this, after this, we extract it, come on into the filter. Um, you collect it in the bucket, the right. food grade bucket. Um, what is the next step from that bottle in? The next step would be to um, strain it into a, into a finer right, strain. Right, finer strain, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is um, John Public was open to stuff like that, mm -hmm. We just we just bought it like that, right. but because you know people expect to see it a certain way, right. we try to give them the best of the rows. Mm. But of course, that's how it is. So this is really aesthetics. <laughs> yes. To make it look pretty. Yes, All because right. what is what remains in the um, strainer there? Mm -hmm. Somebody going to ask me. They want that. Right. Those little pieces of honey comb yeah. and that kind of they, thing. They I... want it. They they know the value of it. So we have this little nozzle here. That allows us to bottle now. Right. Oh, I saw a bottle from there. From right. here. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks a well, lot I, for having I, th I think it's great that you guys are here too because a lot of people they, they only know the process from okay they know that bees make honey mm -hmm. and then they see it in this lovely jar mm -hmm. but in between they have no idea what, what happens in between. Good. So when we go out on these what we call the road shows like mm -hmm. Tomoka, bits and pieces, Hannah Genora. We really want to tell people and educate people as to what is the process between bees making honey and bottling in mm. a store. Right. I think I'm um, understanding the process too and I get appreciation of how much goes into it. Mm -hmm. Apart from the fact that they had a face as well. Uh, Swarm our bees every time we had to go and get this. Which personally, I I not going to extract honey from no hive, right? Um, I think that's a good justification of the price of honey. 
because I mean it, it, there's no value to letting somebody take that risk to start true, and true. then um, everything else I had to do between the hive and the, and the bottle mm -hmm. for you to pour that into your tea or pour that on, on your cereal on your or whatever, anything, your pancake. Right. There's a lot, the, there's a lot goes into it. True, true. So you know I think um, understanding the education really is the justification of the price. Okay. That's yeah, correct. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks again for having us. Glad to come and um, good luck. Thanks so much. Next up, in the April. I'll give you a bong. Maybe that way. The cameraman. Yeah. He's willing and able. What? Look, look. <laughs> That's a yes. That's a confirmed yes. <laughs>